Okay. You're the I one that inter- put it in. Anyway, I want to go to the market. Yes, go to the market. And yes, I thought, oh, well, a city like this is probably going to have, like, a red light area. And I yeah, yeah it, it makes sense. But you put it in, and therefore you should know <laughs> if it's never in there. Mentioned I'm going to fuck around with it. People. You know. Man's got a drink. I'm already in the market. That's where I was while all this bullshit was going on. Yeah. You've got, probably. You've, you've got a person who is desperate for whiskey and one who wanted to fuck his deity. Come on. <laughs> okay. Well, I didn't know that when I planned the city. Fair. Okay, so in the market, you can find a lot of things for sale. <laughs> is there anything specific you're looking for? Oh, um, nothing specific. I just want to look around. Okay, Taylor. Uh, no, I just wanted to get away from that bizarre weirdness that's going on. You wanted to get away from the midget porn, okay. Ooh. Can I can I have a look for like bit like and traps and that for hunters? Yeah, that's fair. Um yeah, there are hunting supply stalls, mostly selling local things such as game meat and well materials, shall we say. Right. Like sharpened metal teeth. Oh, what are you doing? Do you have any like animal calls? You know, like a duck on? Um, give me a perception while you look for them. What are you two yeah. doing up there? I, I, I know my, my hunting tools. Yeah, there are a, there is a rack of small whistles in vendor gestures that you are well, you're welcome to. Right, um, can I ask him what which of these creatures is considered like the best for a trophy kill out it of the ones wisely that and points to one. The biggest one. So yeah, that's a I'll, I'll give that a test. The sound that comes out of it is more or less the call of an elephant. <clears throat> yes. How much would that cost? Uh, he holds up ten fingers. Ten. Would somebody lend me what? ten amber? Colba, uh, Colba come over and translate that, please, and then we might give you some. It's an animal so, call. Yeah. Um, we heard so it. Would that, that, I'm bringing over Colba. Would that tr- uh, be ten amber? Yes, ten amber. Then I, I give I give ten amber. Thank you. Congratulations, you now own an elephant call. I'll Meanwhile, come in, in the Chronicles of Beans, Beans. He, has, he is currently wandering, a, he's wandering along kind of behind Taylor, but he does catch a whiff of the local equivalent of a hot dog stand. Oh. <laughs> that sounds nice. Please roll a will save for Beans. Beans manages to resist stealing a sausage and follows along behind him. That's adorable. <laughs> I'm gonna buy him one. How much are they? The vendor holds up a single finger. Do you only have gold, so uh, I give you one amber. Okay, give you one gold, then you can give me two amber. Because <laughs> that's how much it is. Yes, that absolutely. Is yes. Okay, coins okay, change cool. hands. Uh, cool. The vendor takes two of the large sausages, impales them on slim wooden spikes, and hands two of them to you for the single coin. Yeah, I'll give them both to Beans. I'm not that hungry, but if he's hungry, then that's what he wants. Beans! Yeah. <laughs> Beans starts happily munching on one of the sausages. No, wish, wish, wish. No, so do, you, do you want to give the other one to our, our wonderful new prisoner friend? No. Uh, yes! <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll not try to sweeten the deal on that. Shut up, yes. No, he, he, he can eat his own toes. Shut up, he's having the hot dog. He, <laughs> Cal, I've seen it happen. Oh, I can kick you, you two over. <laughs> yeah. He's having the hot dog. That reminds me, Ethril. Hello. You are having a similar moment to be the shinies. Oh. <laughs> because you spot an entire stall covered in intricate jewelry. Question before that happens is she still on my back. I probably. know, Ethril, are you wandering around on your own? I've probably been still been sitting on Rowan's back since we went to the palace. Okay. <laughs> okay. So you have spotted from your elevated position. Shinies. At a stall <coughs> manned by one of the Malele elves that has a large amount of silver and gem related jewelry on it. In particular, a large amethyst set into a necklace. You know my weaknesses, fucking amethysts. <laughs> what do you think my reaction is gonna be? Please roll a will save. God. Uh, I bet if I fail this you're gonna you're gonna like make a reference to an event where it's already happened before. Here you go, one jump ahead of the bread line. One swing ahead of the sword. <laughs> wait, wait, look at it. We'll save. Okay. I'm going to flunk it. There, I flunked <laughs> it. <laughs> what, what do I have to roll to make sure that I grab her in time? Combat. Do you notice Combat it? You've not noticed it. Um, where is that? 
Are you uh, you uh, her? Ethril, you please roll stealth to evade Rowan's notice first. So if this is a successful roll so, against... So, so, so. so Rowan, you roll a perception check, which is on your skills. <laughs> Ethril, you roll a stealth check. <laughs> Seven. Mm. <laughs> 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 Fuck. Ethril, you are now within grabbing the table. Keep. Keep. Please um, roll stealth once again to endeavor to see what so, you can get. That's better. 14. You aren't able to get the biggest shiny, but you do successfully, while walking past the table, use your thieving skills to snatch a couple of brass bangles from the edge of the table. Oh, God. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I mean, I didn't see anything, so I, sh- I assume nice. And you do manage to go unnoticed by the trader. <laughs> I don't but want any more trouble. have acquired a pair of brass bangles. Cool. How about we get away from this wonderful, cursed, enticing place? No, I want to see... Is, is there any clothing here? Uh, There are some clothing. Is there anything in my size? Fuck no. Okay, I, go, <laughs> I want to go back to the Street of Plenty to buy that sword. Okay. I've added it to worn items. I'm, I'm back at the wagon. So, as everyone, yeah, yeah, as yeah, everyone the line. Back, uh, Rowan, as Ethereal climbs back onto your shoulders, you do notice that a spanking new pair of brass bangles. <sighs> can I go to the Street of Plenty, or is that already covered? That... No, you can. So you essentially want to spend a hundred amber yes. pieces to go to the silk shop. Silk shop. Uh, offering one lady. with green silk, red silk, or orange silk. Green silk, please. Matching. Green silk, and it has little amber baubles hanging off of the tassels of the shawl. I, I, I get off so that you can wear it, and then I climb back on and start playing with the baubles. As if I've got yeah. my legs over your shoulders and around your neck, and then I'm just lying like full on backwards just to go and play with them like a cat. <laughs> so, <laughs> everyone everyone is back at the party down. bus now. Party bus. Da, 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 da. <laughs> and uh, Koba was idea. off doing some shopping of his own. Oh! Doing and he has a large, he has a large wooden bucket with him. Bucket. Hey. Okay. A large wooden bucket that, on inspection, appears to be full of white paint. Okay. What's, what's the statue uh, of God, Koba? You identified yourselves when we entered the city as a. Oh yeah. Oh oh, oh no! Do we have to? Uh, as, oh. as what? Sorry. A You're... circus. Yeah. It's, it's clown paint. <laughs> I thought you might like to mark the wagon. Oh. We'll do that when we get out of the city. We don't have to do that right now. We've got things to do. We'll do a show. We'll do a show another day, okay, buddy? No, he knows you're not a circus. He's saying that it might aid the cover story if you painted it the circus name oh, on okay. the wagon. Yes. What was it? I, Super Thunder Circus. I mean, I like the idea of it. Is anyone going to stop Cobra painting? I'm no. gonna paint I'm, our wagon. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna be slightly going annoyed if he actually dresses the wagon around because I'm working in it, but. That's a minor thing. No, he's just painting the uh, Super Thunder Circus. The name you... I I help out. Let's see. Uh, what what name is he painting on it? Or is he just painting a Super us Thunder doing... Circus? Super Thunder Circus. Super Thunder Circus. As yeah, you, you were doing it on that, that over the, the top gesturing. Your wagon now has Super Thunder Circus in the crude paint, white paint <laughs> across the side of it. Yeah. I like it. That's going to be good. <laughs> Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, we're going to be super intimidating when we get to that guy. Go, you know what we need next? We're going to need like a pipe organ for you to play in the back of the wagon. Uh, yeah, we'll, one on, we'll build one on the way. Let's, yeah. let's get out of this city. This city is hell. <laughs> this city is sapped an hour and a half from us. As well as your dick. So, out of the city and heading along the road with uh, Rowan doing her usual job. Yes. So you will be following Jazar's directions towards where? The city, or are you going back to Fortune's Landing to explain things to them first? We, we, should, should, we should find the guy. I don't know if we need to go back to Fortune's Landing. It could be done either way. I mean, it's up to you all, really. It's what the party is. Aren't we trying to find the war camp? Yeah, we need to find the, uh, the lane for and get this dealt with. Yeah, I'm sick of this guy. Okay, that's fine. So, heading off as you do. Which direction? Uh, back out to... Initially, you, uh, Jazar's directions take you out back towards Fortune's Landing, but then you divert off of the beaten road by the river and start heading into the Wildlands. 
I need direction. I need to map this. You are heading from your current location northwest. So, um, uh, b -b 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 who wants to roll the encounter table? Doing it. It's a d10, yeah, right? I'll it's roll it. Yeah. Please roll a d10. Oh boy. This is giving me flashbacks to fucking Rogue Trader. Rogue Trader With was fun for it. That's all because my seven was also jump back in time. <laughs> okay, let's see what a number seven on the event. Oh god, damn it! That doesn't sound. Good. Aiden, get on your knees, boy. It's a seven. <laughs> <laughs> now, Marvin, you think so, I can take a whole seven? <laughs> so, as your convoy, as your convoy of a single wagon makes its way across the dry savannah, oh, I'm worried how he said single. Mm -hmm. Well, you do have just one wagon. Yes. You hear something. Exception. Loud. Oh no. Something loud and bird like. And the beating of many wings. Oh, Is it a bird? No. Is it a plane? <laughs> <laughs> there are there are several dozen flying humanoids on the horizon. Oh, all surrounding a massive shape. Oh, it's a swarm. Is I wonder if these are Nega. They are, you would recognize from the city as Nadei, and they are hunting what looks like an elephant, but holy crap, it's bigger than the elephants you're used to seeing on the dry countries back in... Ooh, can I blow the horn and see if it reacts to it while it's being attacked? Don't want the elephant charging towards us. No, but it might scare off its attackers if they think there's more. No, they'll just make them happier. Oh, look, there's more we can eat. I mean, to be fair, as far as elephants go, this one is standing around 30 feet tall. I think you should do it. Fuck it. Yeah, blow it. <laughs> okay, are you getting into a reasonable hearing, or are you just <coughs> right? I mean, I, I assumed as we were closing in, close enough for them to be able to hear it, but okay, like hopefully to try and scare them away that it's like, oh shit, another one. Well, there is a reaction. The large elephant creature does trumpet in return, and two or three of the hunters break off and appear to be searching. When they see your wagon, they start flying down towards you. Ah! Perfect, we've separated the pack. Split, we've split their party. <laughs> it's perfect. So, Roll initiative. The second, three of the winged humanoid <laughs> hunters are floating in front of you, beating their wings in the sky, and shouting something in the native language. Can Koba translate it? Koba <laughs> does say, uh, they are requesting that we do not interfere with their hunt. I am being more polite than they were. Fuck okay, so what they said was essentially fuck off and let us do our job. I mean, yeah. to all intents and purposes, yes. Yeah, I'm happy enough to leave the natural order. <laughs> oh, but flying targets would be so fun to shoot at. Uh... Better things to do. <laughs> no, I, I won't make a decision because I, I don't want to bring us into combat that the other people don't want. Coward. What am before for you? <laughs> don't you test me. Exile? Well, they got sucked off by a gnome. I ain't letting go of that. So, uh, are you, is the entire party acceding to the hunter's request to let them get on with their... Yes, we're going to fuck hunt. off. I mean, we have to keep going. Is that going to interfere with the hunt if we keep going forward? Zabar says that you can take a relatively easy detour. Okay, do we have any reason to fight these guys? Or no. This thing? No, they're busy hunting. We just I mean, them fun. There's, there's no reason fun. to fight them. Jim just wants that elephant head. Yeah, because if we aggravate I mean, them, I want, the rest of the swarm... I want their wings as well. I'll take all the trophies I can get. Please You're an animal, man. Yeah, if we, if we no, I hunt animals. If we aggravate I mean, them, the fair, rest of the swarm will I come. think we need to make a set of diagrams for Aiden on... It just says the various species with people or not people next to them. Yeah. It doesn't matter. I vote take the detour. Yeah, yeah. I'll take the detour. Okay. Okay. The detour now it gets like... River or something. The hunt disappears onto the horizon. It looks like it'll take them a few hours to bring it down, but it can't really stop them because they can fly and it can't. So it's just a waiting game of a hunt, really. Godspeed. <laughs> so I bought a call for a 30-foot elephant. You did what? purchase a call for a 30-foot elephant. What are the odds that we'll actually take one of them down? Because I'm going to try it at some point. So, I mean, how big is your gun currently? Because you need an elephant gun. You need an elephant cannon. I mean, the thing about it is, enlarge, person enlarges your weapon as well. Ooh. And I do have that spell? Yeah, so do I. No, the problem is, it's already a small musket, so it would go up to a medium. Which wouldn't be big enough, I don't think. Okay. How much, like, Rowan, how hard can you charge something? I don't know how to figure that out. 
Okay. It's very, very simple. What if you make, we make you even bigger? And then you just tackle it. Ooh, woman. We don't need oh. to worry about it right now. Yeah, and also remember, I can cast that on myself, too. So e. I can go up to, um... Super, um super giant and double again. About another half an hour of travel by wagon. Yeah. And Zabar requests that you halt. Okay, his name is Jazar, but whatever. Jazar. Jazar. Zabar's yeah. going to find, isn't he? Sorry, I was mixing up names off my list there. Yeah. I gotta find out who this Zabar is now. <laughs> anyway. I should not have named two NPCs with such similar names. Yeah. Oh, no. Wait, wait, no, Zabar. Zabar was the, uh, was the butler that you met in the, with the pack of beef. Ah. ah. Like that was where my notes were getting confused. You did a silly. When I wrote these names, I didn't expect them to cross over. <laughs> and now they did. So Jazar uh, requests that you halt. I, okay, I halt. He then speaks, and Koba translates that he can smell another pack on the horizon, and they have our scent as well. That's bad. All right, jump up. Let's uh, do this. He says, if you have a plan to not to die, now would... Oh, goodness. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay. Unfortunately, you do have a plan to not die. Yes. So, Summon another what's elephant your to reaction to the situation? Get it's ready. a matter of time until they find us. Jazar tells you that they, by his, by the scent on the wind, they will be here in less than five minutes. Do you think we can set up traps? You have yeah, five minutes. Set up, like, pull the wagon across to be more like a roadblock and use it for cover. Do I need to roll anything for this? Not really. Okay. Not unless you are specifically setting traps or whatever it is you want <laughs> to do in the prep. I'm doing heavy lifting with the wagon. I'm just I doing mean, what people tell me to. I do have um, a, a heck of a lot of rope. I could try and set up a rope trap to snare one of them. I got a crossbow, I don't remember. Do five minutes. What do I need to roll to set one up? Uh, do you have craft traps? Ooh, I, I have a craft in blank that I haven't actually filled in. You want to retroactively make that trap me. That would make sense for Hunter, wouldn't it? Yes. Yeah. Which is why yeah. I will permit it. So your craft is trap making. It's only a plus one, but it might help. Okay. My craft is books. Should I, should I have a craft in traps, because of the fact that guys. I should know how to um, disassemble a trap? Nope. <laughs> guys, 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 Ooh. guys, we've got the seal. Relax. That... I was waiting till someone remembered that. Oh yeah, that's in my well, I already it? fucked I up just... staring to myself. You just snared yourself. I feel like that doesn't count for shit. I mean, it might, but we also might need to give them a show of force until they see it. Exactly. So, so, I'm just gonna accept oh. that nat one. Yeah. <laughs> everyone else is behind the barricade that was made out of the wagon when the hunting pack <laughs> lopes over the horizon. Aiden, meanwhile, is caught in the wily coyote-like position of being halfway through straining to get the rope taut when they come over the horizon. <laughs> uh, someone throw out that um that symbol for me. And there are currently five Kowinda on the horizon, and all of them have crossbows that are trained on Aiden. Oh, for fuck! They wouldn't be melee, would they? Cool. Right. <laughs> I'll actually just put their tokens down so you can see where yeah, they are. Pro- yeah, I'd like, like so that. far, we've had two of the guards from the city following us. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> yes. cool. Stop! We don't think you're actually a circus. <laughs> we can't let them live. Our secret must know. Can uh, I move before the battle starts? Because I want to move to protect it. Protect the children. Right now, a battle hasn't started. There's just five Kowinda pointing crossbows. Can I point my crossbow at them? I want to go for the guy in the middle. I, I want to move over to Aiden and uh, put out my shield to protect him. I mean, don't you, ha- don't you have the symbol thing? Can you just, like, hold it up for I us? Symbol, I, don't know, I don't have the symbol. Ah, it's Colin that has it. Yeah. Carry me to them, please. Okay. In the current tableau of Aiden straining to pull a rope taut, pausing with the action of having five crossbows pointed at him, Rowan steps forward holding the gnome. <laughs> and the gnome holds the token. Where did he pickpocket me? Where did that happen? I'm just imagining me uh, Rowan holding the gnome sort of under the arms kind of thing, just in the air. That'll do, but I'm definitely going to say something about how you need soap. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. All right, let's... let's... So do we need to get closer? Well, I mean, if that's what you want. <laughs> oh, <fuck's sake. laughs> no, 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 no. 
Hit him, mama! I just imagine like a Russian doll effect. Like Rowan is holding Araya up and Araya is holding the toe down. Yes, yes, that's what we want to do. When they see the glint of amber, the five of them raise their. What the fuck is this? Oh my god! What a dance one! Can you turn it off, please? I thought that was. Because it just says Lion King's Circle of Life. Yeah, that's not the actual version. <laughs> That's some kind of bastard remix. Oh dear, oh dear. Uh, Fix when that. they see you holding something up, all five of them sort of stop aiming at Aiden. And start aiming at me. Nope. Okay. And one of them steps forward. I, I place, I place Araya down. Yeah. So that Araya one of them is the just thing. walking towards you, isn't? So you know you've got time to react to it. Aiden, get the fuck out of the way. I'm to meet him. If everyone else wants to move around. I'm, I'm just gonna walk up and meet him. Okay. Aiden, get out of the way. I have with me to translate. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna be here. Uh, is anyone else... Uh, Levy, Ethril, Taylor, is anyone else doing any... I'm there? still, on, well, still on Rowan's shoulders. Beep! I pull out a catalyst for a bomb. I prepare that. Okay, just in case, fair enough. Yep. I've got the crossbow, but I didn't get the deets <laughs> for it yet. I'm just sort of... I'm sat, sat here still yeah, should, trying to build a rope make trap. I should a token, really. See if I can yeah. get one. We should have kept that guard token. <laughs> Just unofficially retconned him to be Koba. Nah. Koba bought a guard's outfit and a spear while he was in the shop. That's what he was buying. <laughs> you know what? I think I have something for Koba here. Give me a second. Yeah. Here's a second. Where did I put that? There it is. <clears throat> I, I, li I like to imagine Rowan with Ethereal on one shoulder and Koba on the other. Koba! Koba? Do I recognize hey. that token? Mm. Yeah, I like that. I can't really see it. Yeah, sorry, it's kind of small. Crazy. Oh yeah, that's cool. He's like a guy with a big like drum on his back. And a Col Colby, <laughs> should, Colby should be up one square. Uh, I've got, so I've got a percussionist. Go. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I was thinking as well, Colby. <laughs> At least you'd get some nice fat beats. Uh, so the one that leads to the front uh, holds out a paw demandingly. I like, yeah, I give him a low five. But, uh, oh! should, should, should we have Jazard up with us here? Yeah. I don't like him being at the back out of my musket, you. Okay. Well, you're in charge of dragging him, do you drag him with you? Yeah. <laughs> okay. They do Keep look it. at Jazar and growl sign him language, which Koba does not speak. You he speaks beautiful. the common language of the uh, nation, but he doesn't speak the their specific language. I was going to say, can we take a, someone take a little sip of the uh Take a shot! Wine. Is that thing worn off already, then? Yeah, it doesn't last long. You only had a shot. Take another shot. You've been on the road for a couple of hours. I'd say just take a little sip. It should be enough for however long we deal with them. Okay, you hear the translation of the conversation, which is basically, Jazar, why have you failed? <laughs> they overran my pride after we annihilated one of their convoys. It was a glorious battle. I see you are missing part of your foot. Oh, no. Yes, the short one made me eat it. Whoa, 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 whoa. which short one? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, I can't understand. And, and at I this point, this. he points to the two of them. He points between Aiden and Araya, and Jazar points at Aiden. Yeah. <laughs> and the leader of the hunt pack just sort of nods <laughs> understandingly. Do you think they understand us? No, their interpreter only speaks the common tongue. Maybe we shall feed the short one his own feet if this token is false. I would like that. <laughs> <laughs> Probably deserves it anyway. So while this is going on, I guess I'm just like like reminding him that it's in front of him, and I guess I pass it to him. Yeah. I mean, uh, I want, he does I want a receipt. I'll be on a want a receipt. <laughs> the receipt uh, is I'm pointing a gun at his head for you. Thank you. So he does examine the token, and he looks pissed off. But admits it's genuine in common tongue, which cool. Beep. What do you want, hairless ones? All the hair. I'll, I hold my hand up in a, in a strange symbol that these people would be uncommon, un, uh, unfamiliar with. Are you the bird? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> well, while splitting my fingers into into a V, I will say, <laughs> "We come in peace. Take me to your leader." Oh, I said, uh, we, are yes. doing, we are doing the peace sign, okay. We seek <laughs> the, the Star Trek thing. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> um, and then he twinked. They kind of laugh at this and say, oh, you wish to speak to, K- to Kagabu? <laughs> he will eat you alive. Try me, bitch! Mm. He can try. We're really stringy. <laughs> the, the, the I, I hope my tongue is out. This <laughs> I like See, the short one. He can die last. He won't, he won't be able to eat all of me. I think I would make him... <laughs> Kagabu eats a whole elephant in a sitting giant. Then I may satisfy. I just kind of stand there with like my weapon in one hand, the bomb in the other, just kind of stare back and forth Aiden and the other guy like, are we going to do this or not? Without saying anything. Kagabu <clears throat> Gumo. I said nothing. Uh, so yeah, take us to Kagabu, and yeah, let's let's do that. That's what we seek with this token. You legally have to. Right. He uh, tosses it back to you and walks back to his pack, simply shouting over his shoulder, "Keep up." <laughs> All right. I'll take, take it back in my pockets. All aboard! Do I have to? To the party wagon. Do I have to roll anything? They've started moving at a run. Actually, oh, so sure. I don't have a run check. I mean, no, you don't. But you do have a check for. Uh, yes, could you please roll survival? Hey, nice. That'll do it. Yeah, you manage to your long feet striding across the ground and pulling the wagon full of friends behind you. You do manage to keep pace with the running pack, <laughs> despite once or twice they do attempt to deliberately zoom ahead of you. Yeah. So, um, cresting the next hill, you find yourselves in a large region that is full of tents. Ooh, nice. And what looks to you to be hundreds, if not a couple thousand, coincidences. All of them. Friends. Kitty. Pet the kitty. Uh, the pack that's with you stops and looks back, indicating the largest tent in the entire camp which is, at your estimate, at least bigger than any of the buildings that you saw in Fortune's Land. And its four corners are supported by massive elephant tusks. And they say, you will find the war leader there. You will keep your token from the pack speaker to hand unless you wish to be mauled and devoured. That sounds like fun. We understand. I make sure I have my shield with me just in case, because I don't want to be eaten today. At this Maybe point, tomorrow. they also indicate Jazar. Now that he has fulfilled his task in bringing you here, will you return him to his people? Yes. Yeah. Smell you later, Jazar. It, it was nice. It, would, it was <clears> nice <throat> knowing you, Jazar. You belong here. It was with your nice people. knowing you. Please let me never see you again. <laughs> I, I would offer you a hug, but I worry that you would try and eat my hands. Um, before he leaves, Jazar looks at Aiden, and he just he just kind of walks up to Aiden and looks down at him. <laughs> well, there's no other way to look at him, really. He then <laughs> he then says a few words, hushed like he kind of barks a few words at Koba, who replies in kind. He then kind of clears his throat and says in his best equivalent of your language, I look forward to Killing you. <laughs> I, I, I offer, I tentatively offer Jazar a hug as, as, a, as, a nice <laughs> as a nice farewell and a show of peace. No <laughs> hugs. You should shake his okay, hand, that's Aiden. fine. Have a nice day. Come please translate that. I say, have a nice day. And with that, Jazar walks away. Off he goes. I, mean, I had a plan for him in front of the, the, the leader. Oh. Are you going to blow the back of his skull out? No, uh, if he, <laughs> we, I, I was giving you like if, if the dude's all you know, ha ha ha, might is right and all this stuff. I was gonna like just pull Jazar ahead, and stomp on the back of his leg to put him on his knees, and Such just be a like, dick right <laughs> yeah. I mean, oh, I'll, I'll I'll show him what power really is. I mean, if you want power, I have another idea. Like, <laughs> so, I'm sure it was in the It's Always Sunny scene. <laughs> Generating a tremendous amount of power from the bottom. <laughs> oh. oh, God. Anyway, okay. I'm glad that's not happening. So you now have access to the Kowinda War Camp. I'm, not, I'm going to need to put it on the map. Hold on. Do I have a tent? I have a squid, but no tent. It's so, what's the next move? 
discuss this, guys, because I feel like I'm in over my head a little bit. I mean, there's about two, three thousand lion people down there, and a small amber token is the only thing preventing lunch once you go in. I say I just walk around with that thing held above my head, like as high <laughs> as anyone can see. <laughs> so I'm a diplomat. <laughs> Showing it like I'd show, like, Costco Security a membership card. Just in <laughs> everyone's face. <laughs> so, as you proceed through spot. the camp, you the main smells that you can smell are damp fur, uh, cooking meat, and various other accoutrements of a camp fight. I nervously look around to see if there's any more bone dust. Uh, look at it this way. When you kill something, the Coinda don't believe anything should be wasted. Even oh, though you can't, fuck. even though you can't eat bones, they do make excellent decorations. Basically, they're great. Great, great. I'm gonna be eaten by the bone desk. I'm on your shoulders. <laughs> Everything's fine. Um, There's no point in having it around. You not know? sure. I... Anyway. Yeah. What were you saying, Isla? Isla was saying she doesn't agree with the fact that I called these lion men druid types because they don't waste any of the animal. Hundred <laughs> percent of these animals get used. Snooter to tutor. Not... I mean, that's. Not... <laughs> Actually, uh, Taylor, there is at least one of the Kowinda staring fixedly at you and Beans. Who wants to snack on I the bean? Look back. I'll be stared down on. Yeah. Um, well, when you meet his eye, he steps away from his cohort and holds out an axe to block your path. Get the cut coin. I'll, I'll wiggle the token, I guess. He, he does acknowledge the token and he just kind of waves it off like, because I'm not going to kill him. Oh, it's a bit of friendly threaten. Okay. It's a friendly act. Um, um, he, he rattles off a long sentence in his own language. About half past ten. <laughs> uh, he realises you don't understand in Cobra Trans common language. He wants to know what the small creature following you is. None of your fucking business. It's beans! Beans! Shh, don't give away our secrets. It's yeah. none of his fucking business. It's none of his business. Speaking of, I pet it. <laughs> Yo, pet the beans. Yo, yeah, pet is. the beans. He says that it looks like the cub of a mighty beast and he wants to know where to hunt them. You must go to the coastline, head out about 30 miles into the ocean, and, go and drop to the them. bottom of the ocean. <laughs> there you will find its mother den. Is this what you're saying in character? Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> He kind of looks confused and mutters something before walking away, which makes Cobra laugh his ass. Nice. That's like Cobra that translates that what he muttered before he walked away is that it doesn't look like a sea creature. <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's his risk to lose, isn't it? Okay, so we're not being chopped to death. That's good. And Beans, shy at the attention, crawls under Taylor's hood. Yeah, yeah, I'm, right now. Oh, yeah let's say it again. I'm holding onto that bear so tightly right now. But it looks adorable yet violent, and they want to know where to find the adults so they can fight them. He's adorable and 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 awesome and totally one hundred percent mine. 